Hey everybody, it's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Wednesday the 23rd, and I got an update for you on the hurricane that I showed you the other day. Uh, matter of fact, before I get to it real quick, let me get to a quick point. Now, I know that we take these with a grain of salt, guys, uh, especially when it's such a long forecast, and that's, that's the wisest thing to do. But you should always keep in your mind in the corner, if it does keep popping up, that maybe something might be of this. Okay, now, now the good news is that we're about to... Go on a seven or eight day stretch where there's not going to be no weather. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be crisp with the humidity. The temperatures are going to get low. Trust me, everybody's going to be happy. It's going to be some good times coming. But after that, in the beginning of October, okay, now these dates, I'm going to explain to you the dates real quick. Now, August 4th, okay, don't mind everything else. You got to remember this channel is only four weeks old. Uh, on August 4th, I tried warning about something I saw. And people really didn't want to pay, you know, too much uh, attention to it. So, uh, okay, it is long forecast. But at the same time, on August 17th, we're over here talking about Hurricane Lower now. Same thing. And, and okay, let me keep going. And then here we go. On September 10th, we got Sally. People didn't want to think about it. Uh, number one question, matter of fact, do you think this storm could be a Cat 3? Well, you know what happened to that. And then another one we had, and I got scolded for it. I called it Wilfred, and actually there was a, a tropical cyclone in the eastern Atlantic that's, that got a center of formation before this one did. Got, God forgive me, please. And it got Wilfred, and this was Beta. So these some of these models do show true, just, just so you know. If it keeps popping up, this is what it does. If it is going to have anything come out of it, because sometimes that's why people don't like long range. That's why most of us don't. Because usually they don't come back. You see them once, oh, it's gone. But the way I've been tracking these, and that's why I showed you the dates, is because these dates, the longer it is, the later it's going to be. You see? Just like if, if a storm was coming and it showed a curve, if it's a later forecast, it actually will go further and curve, or it could curve way sooner there's 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 options but it, it still comes now these were always like this one was originally on the second showing in this area uh forming on the 29th but now it's showing it on the third to the fourth now here it is on the fifth it's at 968 this gfs euro only goes to 240 hours and then as we go every six hours there it is at tampa at 957 Right below Tampa. Now, now, the good news about this is these are six-hour intervals that we're looking at, if this does happen, just say. And before you know it, from one side of Florida to the other side, it moves so quick that within six hours, it's, it's already across. But just so you're curious, at the 957, at that spot, the highest I get is 71, 80, 84 knots. Now, to figure knots to winds, remember, just divide six into it, add that to the number, and you come up with around 97, 97 point something. It's Cat 2 Hurricane. 95 plus is Cat 2, so there's a potential Cat 2 for this. Now, if you watch, as it clicks across, six hours, bam, it's already on the other side. Uh, this is it down here. And then you'll see six hours from there, it also moves very quickly again and jumps all the way to the tip of the Carolinas. It might get a brush on that if this track does show true. But then it leaves immediately out, out the, the northeast. Like there might be a high pressure that moves in. Uh, and, and another thing, in the beginning, I'll show you on, on the WSV3, that when it originally comes towards uh, the Gulf and it, it makes its northern turn, it's like there's another high pressure that moves over here and protects the western Gulf. Okay, just, just want to point that out. But you can see the waves. You can see that there's nothing for about seven or eight days. And then this buildup happens right here, right off of Africa. And if you keep watching, you'll see it's kind of like, I call it like a sonic boom, like this line right here. And you'll see it bow out. Then you'll see a second explosion. Uh, I'll play it in a second so you can see it. But you can see the energy here. And it, it, blow, it blows out and you get a second explosion. And then it pushes it even further. You can see the Bowen in it. And then it shoots across the MDR into the second region. Now the, now, the three hottest regions for October is the MDR right here. It acts up 
right here all the time, especially in October. This is where some big storms can form. And and the, the Pacific, yeah, they have problems as well. Now, if you watch, if you watch how this goes up, come and play it for you so you can watch it build up. I got it moving pretty quick. That way we're not wasting time. You see the time and date is on the left, top left. Now, if you watch over, you'll see it come out. It starts forming up around Africa. And this is where the sonic boom happens, and you get a second explosion. And if you follow that energy, you'll see it gets to the second region. Okay, Pacific does get issues. Then it forms up right here and shoots north. This is on the third. It becomes a tropical storm. Head straight over, and it goes quickly. And straight out. Now, we'll look at this real quick. And then we'll stop. I didn't want it to be a super long video. But you can see right here on a third at 11 p.m. runabouts. Tropical storm around that, that area. Now, slowed it down so we can see a little bit more of what happens. You can see the time date on the top left. You can see the hours actually go by now instead of just zipping through them. And we see what happens with this formation. Let me speed up a little bit further. So we can watch it where it's gonna go. I'm gonna keep my eye over the islands because they I do lose sight of them for a while. And it looks like it goes straight over towards Cuba, right there. That's tropical storm in the 50s and 60s. And then we get the energy right before. So that's what I want to check out the most. So let's follow that and see what becomes of it. And exactly where all right 88 91 92 uh oh I thought that was a 95 that scared me for a minute made my heart flutter just for a second 92.3 right below Tampa uh, if we zoom in a little more Cape Coral that's what I'm showing just for now and it could easily be very different course just remember that now, when it does, if this shows true, it goes over Florida. Look how quickly that went. So quickly. But it didn't show what the impact was over Florida, if, if, so if there was any. Okay? But it's not showing anything on a transition. I do show it does get in towards right below Tampa and Cape Coral. And the white is 30s to 40s. The orange is of high 40s to 50s. Some of it 60s. But that's just laying right there to the 50s. But then it goes quickly. Six hours. Bam, it's on the other side. And the whole time you gotta imagine this is this is a, a system. It is spinning. So there's gonna be some serious waves happening right here. There's gonna be some bad uh high flag warnings for the beaches everywhere, and it's gonna come right back to a hurricane before it moves again. And then it's gonna be on its way out the, the coast. And then when it hits over here, supposedly by the Carolinas. The whole time it's spinning. You got to remember that. The whole time this thing is spinning. And right there, right below a hurricane. It has potential for a hurricane, but it don't show that it has hurricane strength. And the winds reach all the way out. Not quite the rally. And then it heads out of here. So that's that's, that's what we got. Okay, that's, that's the best thing I can do as far as uh, showing you as much as I can show you. All right, now I put it on fast as I think I should put it so you can see this full formation of what happens with the atmosphere as well. So if you see something that could help us uh, figure this out or debunk this, and, and you do see my flash flood warnings over here because I still have that active. I keep that in tornadoes active <laughs> all the time. So there you go. Now yesterday, uh, sorry for the late upload, by the way, because uh, I actually did this twice already. <laughs> I, I didn't, I, I was reading my Bible to, to y'all, and because I was at the end of my video, and while I'm looking down reading my Bible in the light, I see my power button isn't on for my mic. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I just did this and didn't record any of it, so I was able to perfect it, yay, hopefully it got shorter. <laughs> God bless you for, for waiting this long. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I appreciate you for that. Please, if you think this could be something or if, or if this helped you in any way, please hit that like button for me. 
Believe me, you know I love you. You know, you're my brothers and sisters. We all want unto Christ. Amen. Now, yesterday was Genesis 12. Today, we're going to do Genesis 13. And Abram went up out of Egypt, he and his wife, and all that he had, and lot with them into the south. And Abram was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. And he went on journeys from the south even to Beth Bethel, unto the place where his tent had been in, at the beginning between Bethel and High. Unto the place of the altar, which he had made there at the first, and there Abram called on name on the name of the Lord. And Lot also, which went with Abram, had flocks and herds and tents. And the land was not able to bear them, that they might dwell together, for their substance was great, so that, so that they could not dwell together. And there was a strife between the herdmen of Abram's cattle and of the herdmen of Lot's cattle. And the Canaanite and Perizzite dwelled them in the land, dwelled then in the land. And Abram said unto Lot, Lot, there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, and between my herdmen and thy herdmen, for we be brethren. Is not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself, I pray thee, from me. If, if thou wilt take the left hand, then I will go to the right. Or if thou depart to the right hand, then I will go to the left. And Lot lifted up his eyes and beheld all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere, before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, even as the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, as thou comest unto Zor. Then Lot chose him all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east, and they separated themselves, the one from the other. Abram dwelled in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelled in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent toward Sodom. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. And the Lord said unto Abram, After that Lot was separated from him, Lift up now thine eyes, and look from the place where thou art northward and southward, and eastward and westward. For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed forever. And I will make thy seed as a dust of the earth, so that if a, if a man can number the dust of the earth, they shall... They shall then shall thy seed also be numbered. Arise, walk through the land in the length of it and in the breadth of it, for I will give it unto thee. Then Abram removed his tent and came and dwelt in the plain of Mamre, which is Hebron, which is in Hebron, and built there an altar unto the Lord. Amen. God bless y'all today. Uh, sorry for the later upload. Like I said, I done did this twice already. But I hope y'all have a great day for y'all that's going through those floods. God bless y'all. May it drain quickly. May the sun shine shining and dry everything up. We do have a good seven to eight days of good weather, crisp air, uh, low humidity, and lower temperatures. So believe me, it will be getting nice. Good times are coming, guys. God bless all of y'all. I hope y'all have a, a beautiful day. If I haven't said it ten times already, all glory goes to God. Amen.